UN confirms that Russia hit Kharkiv with North Korean missile. The United Nations has confirmed the use of North Korean Hwasong-11 missiles by Russia. In particular, they were used to strike Kharkiv in January, according to Reuters. According to the agency, in early April, three observers monitoring the implementation of UN sanctions against North Korea, which prohibit the import and export of military technology to the North Korea, traveled to Ukraine to inspect missile debris. They found no evidence that the missile was made in Russia. Such a location, if the missile was under control of Russian forces, would probably indicate procurement by nationals of the Russian Federation, the observers wrote in a report available to the agency. As it was stated in the report, Ukraine's information indicates that the missile was launched from the territory of Russia. On January the 2nd of this year, the Russian forces launched a missile attack on Kharkiv. Afterward, the spokesman for the Kharkiv Regional Prosecutor's Office, Dmitro Chubenko, told reporters that the enemy used a North Korean-made missile to launch the attack. Oleksandr Kovalenko, a military and political observer of the Information Resistance Group, said in a commentary to RBC Ukraine that Russia could have used a Hwasong-11 missile. Hwasong-11 is a short-range ballistic missile first tested in May 2019. It follows a quasi-ballistic trajectory and visually resembles the Russian Iskander-M leading analysts to consider the Hwasong-11 a potential copy. According to the Center for Strategic and International Studies, estimates the missile can carry a warhead weighing 500 kilograms up to a distance of 450 kilometers or a lighter one up to 690 kilometers. Its length is approximately 7.5 meters, diameter 0.95 meters, with a total mass of 3,415 kilograms. In the terminal phase of flight, the Hwasong-11 is capable of maneuvering, complicating interception. Its trajectory could pose a problem for missile defense systems. The use of fins for maneuvering complicates interception prediction. It remains unknown whether the North Korean missile has sophisticated guidance systems for accurate targeting after evasion maneuvers. The flood disaster in Medina, Saudi Arabia was captured on cell phone camera. Due to the flood disaster, many vehicles were damaged by floodwaters. Terrifying dust tornado struck without warning on April 28 in Saudi Arabia. Coupled with severe flash flooding in other parts of the country the same day, the twin natural disasters left a trail of devastation behind the National Center for Meteorology forecast rainfall of between 10 mm and 50 mm during the week and issued weather alerts for several areas. Spokesman Hussein al Qatani advised people to avoid travel by land unless necessary and called for greater caution due to expected poor visibility, hail, and flash floods. The stormy weather is expected across the Arabian Peninsula this week. Authorities issue new alerts as weather conditions change over the coming hours and days. Sustained heavy rainfall could trigger flooding in low lying communities near rivers, streams, and creeks. Urban flooding is also possible in developed areas with easily overwhelmed stormwater drainage systems. Sites located downstream from large reservoirs or rivers may be subject to flash flooding after relatively short periods of intense rainfall. Landslides are possible in hilly or mountainous areas, especially where the soil has become saturated by heavy rainfall. Authorities may issue mandatory evacuation orders for flood-prone communities over the coming days. Disruptions to electricity and telecommunications services are possible where significant winds or flooding impact utility networks.